Hello students of class 6. Uh, so in this video, as I told, I am going to finish the rest of the poem that is Robinson Crusoe's story by Charles Edward Carey. <coughs> so let us start with the third, sorry, seventh stanza. So I hope you remember the poem Robinson Crusoe. He will step on a deserted island and we will get all the details about what he did, what he ate on that deserted island in this poem. So let us start with the seventh stanza. Then they gather as we travel, bits of, sm bits of moss and dirty gravel, and we chip off little specimens of stone and we carry home as prizes, funny bags of handy sizes just to give the day a scientific tone. So Robinson Crusoe on that deserted island just to break that monotony of that life he used to go for a family picnic with his domestic animals and while he used to travel from one island from one corner of the island to the other corner of the island what did he do he and his domestic animals and his pet animals used to gather things whatever they saw on that island they used to pick those things for example bits of moss and dirty gravel so seven stanza as i've written on the board it is about what did he gather as he traveled or as he went on that or as he went for picnic on that island so what are the things that he picked up while having picnic bits of moss and dirty gravel bits of moss moss is bits of moss and dirty gravel moss is a kind of moss is small flowerless small flowerless green plant <clears throat> so moss is what moss is a small flowerless green plant and these type of bushes and mosses are only found are uh, these are types of uh, flowerless green plant can only be found in any kind of deserted island okay kind of forest or jungle so he used to pick up all the mosses and dirty gravel gravel means small stones what is the meaning of gravel g r a v e l gravel means g r a v e l gravel means small stones so he used to pick up small stones and moss that is small flowerless green plants from the island and we chip off little specimens of stone and we carry home as prizes so robinson crusoe and his pet animals took all these little little things as prizes as if they they were some kind of prizes for them and we carry home as prizes funny bags of funny bugs of handy sizes just to give the day a scientific tone so since Robinson Crusoe was a very um, inquisitive person, he was very curious to gather new law knowledge. And for him, exploring the island, picking up things from the island, whatever he got from that island, like stones, small stones, mosses, flowerless plants, all these things gave him this feeling of a scientific things as if he was doing some kind of experiment on that deserted island so all this gave their day a scientific tone and this these things are this this will sound a bit weird obviously how can a person have um scientific experiment or how can a person do scientific experiment on a deserted island so these are all just the imagination of the poet just to make the readers feel amused by reading this poem so let us, the, let us go to the next stanza if the roads are wet and muddy we remain at home and study so now robinson crusoe is talking about when the roads of the island when the weather of the island was not good when the weather was cloudy and the roads were wet and muddy they used to remain at home and study so in any uh, in any kind of uh, cloudy or rainy season they did not go out 
they used to remain at home and they used to study all the things that they gather from the island for example for the goat is very clever at sum and the dog instead of fighting studying studies ornamental writing while the cat is taking lessons on the drum so see the names of the pet animals that robinson crusoe had on that deserted island so he had goat he had a dog and he had also a cat so dog goat cat these were his pet animals and also his friends on the deserted island and whenever he went out for the picnic he used to go with his pet animals now in this paragraph we will see that the author charles edward curiel has given many human like traits to all the animals for example here it is saying for the goat is very clever at sum as if the goat could do maths sum as in maths so he was very good in mathematics the goat and the dog instead of fighting can study ornamental writing and the dog could study writings ornamental writings means decorative writings and the cat is taking lessons on the drum and the cat his another pet animal was taking lessons he was taking music class he was taking lessons on drum so how can an animal like goat dog cat they how can they behave like human beings can they study do you have you ever seen an animal studying writings doing taking music lessons or doing mathematics obviously not so these are all bizarre kind of things that that, that has been put by the author charles edward curiel just to make the poem humorous as i said the poet charles edward curiel he himself was a very uh, humorous poet and to amuse the readers he has used all these kind of weird things to make the poem interesting and to make the readers to to grab the attention of the readers so let us go to the last stanza we retire at 11 and we rise again at 7 and i wish to call attention as i close to the fact that all the scholars are correct about their callers and particularly in turning out their toes so in the last stanza we will see the time schedule of robinson and his pet animals so they were they were behaving exactly like human beings do on a regular daily basis life so we retire at 11 means they used to go to bed at 11 pm at night and they used to again wake up in the morning at 7 so they they followed a very strict schedule like human beings and this from this we can say that they had a very systematic and organized and they had a very disciplined life so robinson crusoe led a very disciplined life on that island along with his pet animals and the poet is saying and i wish to call attention as i close to the fact that all the scholars scholars means all the writers and all the poets they are correct about their callers scholar means the caller of the animals so now robinson crusoe is saying that before i end this poem robinson crusoe saying that all the scholars and the writers all these scholars means writers and poets they are right about their callers scholars means callers of animals and he is saying that they are correct about their colors and particular in turning out their to uh, in turning out their toes in so in the last and in the last line in turning out their toes means the way the animals used to turn out their toes so now this line uh, is quite mysterious because the author charles edward curiel has left this line up to us it is up to our imagination what do what we want to imagine after reading this line but this line suggests the behavior the uh, outward behavior of an animal how an animal turn out his feet or how the animals turn out their toes so the author charles edward curiel being robinson crusoe in this poem is saying that all the writers and all the poets are very much correct about the callers of the animals and how the animals turn out their feet how the animals turn out their toes whatever the uh, writers have written till today about the color of the animals and about the feet and toes of the animals they are very much 
they are very much correct and they are very much particular and rest we have to imagine what exactly the author is trying to say because he has not given any particular meaning or he has not given any particular point or fact that we can understand so it is left to our imagination we have to imagine and in turning out their toes if we go if we delve into the deeper thing then we will know that it has an inner meaning and inner meaning means in turning out their toes it means to go out of home so if we take the inner meaning then robinson crusoe since he went out see, since he went against his family's wishes he went against his parents and he went to the sea to be to be a sailor so he was the one who left his house and he went out of home and he has suffered so much when he went against his parents advice he did not listen to his advice he suffered so much at sea he struggled so much he had experienced so many things in his life he has lost so much, so much of his friends and so he is saying that to go out of home against your family's wishes to not listen to your elder ones that that is something we should not do do and all the scholars and writers are very much correct about these about this that to go out of home against the wishes of your parents or to not listen to the parents is is not a very good thing and all the scholars and writers they are very much correct about this till today so this can be another meaning of the last phrase in turning out their toes which means to go out of home so turning out their toes this write it down turning out their toes the inner meaning inner meaning is to go out of home to go out of home so this can be one inner meaning of this phrase that to go out of home that just like robinson crusoe did again he went against his parents wishes and he went out of his home which is a which proved a very bad thing to him but also definitely he had experienced a lot of new things he had learned a lot of new things so this is a very beautiful and an exciting poem about robinson crusoe and his adventure and his survive and his uh, survival on the deserted island and i hope you have liked this poem very much so in my next video maybe i'll uh, make some i'll dis make a video on questions and answers of this poem i'll discuss the answers of this poem so till then bye all of you thank you and take care